Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve, and this is Made by Honey. I've been waiting for this episode for a while. I've been planning on it in my head for for weeks, for months, I think. Finally, got to do it today. So today I have the Hibiki、uh, Suntory whiskey to the left of me, but it's not the regular Hibiki、uh, whiskey. It's the Blossom Harmony 2022 version. So very special whiskey. I'll share more about it in a second. And to the right of me, I took up some sushi from Sugarfish. It's a pretty well-known chain.、Um, they have a really good sushi that they, they make over there. So I got a box of it, ready to go.、It、smells good already. I can smell it. So we'll try this one、uh, after I try the whiskey, and then after we'll try it together. Alrighty, let's get started. I can't wait. Whiskey first, as always. Oh man, I've been. It's unopened. I have not opened it. This is the first time I'll be trying it, so I, you know, I don't know what it tastes like. I've only heard about how it tastes, so I've been looking forward to an occasion to open it. And here it is. So、um, let's open it up. And it sort of comes with a special. I don't know if it's worthy of mentioning or not. It comes with a little pamphlet. That shows、uh, Hibiki Suntory Whiskey Harmony Edition, 2022, and then oh, I I saved the receipt too. So I bought this bottle for $159 at Costco. A little bit about the whiskey. Again, it's made by the Suntory Distillery.、Um, it's the sort of like a brother or the sister of the Hibiki Harmony. Uh, whiskey that everyone loves, everyone sort of recognizes, right? It's the if you know of anything about Japanese whiskey, they have the Hibiki lineup. They got the you know they have Yamazaki, right? They got the Hakushu.、Um, I think the Nika is another famous one, right? A lot of people are familiar with those brands, and this is one of the Hibiki whiskeys,、um, but it's different from the regular Hibiki because this one, while the regular Hibiki was aged and barreled in a regular, I think, a white oak barrel or something like that. This one is barreled in sakura casks. Sakura cask meaning casks made from cherry blossom trees. So it's very unique.、Um, and there are other distilleries that do similar things, but as far as Hibiki is concerned, this is the one that they advertise as 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 barreled in sakura casks. A little bit of background on the sakura or cherry blossom in Japan. It's a big deal. I think once a year they. You know they gather together. I think sometime in spring for a week or so,、uh, and、uh, they come out when the, these cherry blossoms start blooming in the trees on the trees, and they sort of take pictures. They have they make a celebration out of it. They make an event out of it, and they sort of celebrate it as a, as like a like a spring, a big spring event, like a family friendly event from what I understand. So,、uh, and that sakura flower, that that cherry blossom flower is very. It's very delicate, very gentle in its in its scent, but it's also very strong, very prominent. So、uh, I think they sort of try to、uh, capture that essence in this in this whiskey over here. So we'll try it out. I never had it, so let me open it up actually. So I'm excited to try it. So I think that's the main difference between this whiskey and the regular Hibiki. So if you know of anything that's more different than what I just mentioned, let me know in the comments below. I don't. I mean, that's the main difference to the extent that I、uh, that, that I know of. So, right, let's open it up. So, I wanted to read a little bit from the the back of the box. So it says, Hibiki Blossom Harmony is a special Hibiki to accompany times of celebration. I think it's like a sakura or cherry blossom celebration. A rare selection of whiskeys finished in sakura wood casks have been specially blended with diverse malt and grain whiskeys. Well matured over many seasons to create this unique hibiki. So, again, it's very hard to find, especially in the states. You know, when you do find it, I think it's around, you know, like, you know, you can't find it retail a lot of times. When when you do find it, it's gone within probably minutes. If you could find it on secondary or in a you know you know liquor store or something like that, it's marked up to like six, seven, eight hundred dollars, sometimes thousand dollars. So. It's very sought after by many enthusiasts, many whiskey enthusiasts, not just、uh, Japanese whiskey enthusiasts, but a lot of the people who want to try this special blend of,、uh, of Hibiki whiskey. So, so let's try it out. Here's the cork pop. Well, 
I've been saving this bottle for months, so I can't wait. The color is very, I don't know if you can see it, it's very, it's very amberish, almost yellowish, very light. It's not, it's not like deep orange or brown or anything like that, like the bourbons that, that are usually are. Uh, very, very yellow, almost, I almost want to say like very forest and yellow, but yeah, very yellow. So let's go for the nose, let's see if, if it really smells like you know, flower blossoms. It does. Very gentle, very gentle. It doesn't, it doesn't overwhelm your senses at all. I thought the floral scent would be stronger. The scent is very gentle. I could smell the the similarities between this one and the regular Hibiki, um, but it's slightly different. Slightly different. It has more floral notes to it. Like a pear, like fresh pears. No oak or no wood on the scent. Um, very light, very very gentle. I have to really sniff it to get to get a lot of the a lot of the scent out of it. Yeah, like the if you can imagine, you're just walking down the streets of I don't know Tokyo or something, and you sort of brush by a branch of cherry blossom and you sort of had that scent. I think it's sort of similar. In my mind at least. Alright, let's try it. Woohoo! Let's try it. There you go. Cheers everyone. Ooh. So many flavors coming through. I'm trying to pick it out. Obviously very floral. The moment this hits the palate, the floral note is very prominent. Very like a slightly minty floral note uh, with the flowery scent. It has a little bit of kick. Maybe it's because of the first uh, drink of the day. But it's not, it's not a, it's more of a nudge, not a kick has a very, uh, it's not oak finish at the bottom, it's very, how do I say it? Like light woody finish, like a slight woody chippy finish at the bottom. Take another sip. Okay, I'm getting some fruits out of this one now, like peach. Like peach along with like a smell of a flower. Like a fresh peach. It was like you just got it out of the refrigerator and just sort of peeled it and you're you're eating it. That peach flavor. Slightly pear too. Just all sweet. All sweet. Like gentle sweet. No like you know thick maple syrup. No, no maple syrup here. No butterscotch here. No, nothing like that. It's just very gentle and dare I say smooth. Like everything is everything is just flowing in my my palate everything is flowing like all sort of nebulous and and sort of amoebic and sort of meshing together I don't know if that describes it flavors are very light there's no like a strong punch of anything everything sort of peeking out little by little flowers, the plants, a little bit of oak, um, tiny bit of white sugar, um, like a, like, like a, like the simple syrup, like a simple syrup, not thick caramel, not like that at all. Um, the fruit flavors coming through, like the, the strawberries, peaches. It's very easy drinking, very smooth, if I could say that. Um, very smooth. The finish, finish is there. So it's not like a finish where it's very thick and coaty and, 
and sort of like, you know, grabbing the innards of your, your mouth. It's not like that. It's, it's very subtle. It's like a subtle blanket, very light, silky blanket inside your mouth and sort of absorb as it goes down to your, your, your throat. Very gentle, very subtle, but it's there. You know, the very first thing you taste is like that floral note, that cherry blossom note. And the very last thing you taste as the, as the finish so, uh, sort of diminishes, that's that light oak, uh, light woodiness, light, light chippiness, and sort of diminishes as well. Um, the, the very last note that it sort of says bye to you is, is that floral note as well. So the whole time, it's there, as if it's in the air. You see the flower petals of the sakura, you know, the cherry blossoms just swirling everywhere, and and, and sort of it sort of gently dissipates. That's good. That's good. Anyways, let's move on to the. Delicious sushi. <clears throat> there you go. I don't know if you guys can see it. <sighs> so funny they give you these wet towelettes to sort of start your experience. Attention to detail. I love it. All right, let's try out these. So I think we got salmon, albacore, albacore belly, and yellowtail, I think. Could be wrong, I don't know, we'll see. And then we have soft crab rolls, and I think some kind of tuna rolls, so we'll see. I, I, honestly, I don't know what they all are. Those are my guesses. It says all the pictures over here, but you know. Salmon first. I love super, super fish. For those people who don't know sugar fish, I mean, for me, whenever I have sugar fish, it's a, it's a big deal. What, these days, if you want to have a really good sushi, like, I don't know, like omikaze sushi at a, some fancy sushi restaurant, you have to spend like hundreds of dollars trying to get some good sushi, right? Um, and I don't think I have deep enough pockets for that to enjoy that all the time. But if I feel like sushi and I want a good, consistently good, uh, like something I could trust, I know that the ingredients are fresh, some like sushi like that, and then I go to Sugarfish. It's a chain in the Southern California area, but still, for the most part, they have pretty good quality fish. Um, their presentation is very good. The attention to de detail is very good. And I appreciate that. And, and it's, uh, it tastes excellent as well. So it rarely disappoints. So let's try the I think this is either the yellowtail or the sea beam or kenpachi, I don't know. Let me know if you can tell by just looking at it in, my, in the comments below. This one's buttery. All right. This one I know is albacore. <clears throat> All right, let's try one of the rolls. I think this is a soft crab roll. One of my favorites. The creamy, sweet texture of soft crab. So good. Mm. 
Čo je na sashimi? I'm try with the whiskey. We'll do the... I think this is sea bass, but I'm not sure. There's a slight fishiness in the sushi when I, the one that I just ate. Slight fishiness, not that much. As soon as I eat it with the whiskey, it, it immediately masks it. So you don't have that fishiness at all. And then that sweet, uh, you know, floral sweetness engulfs everything. Creates a very good medley in your mouth. It's good. Let's have one more pour of this whiskey aged in cherry blossom barrel. Again, it, it's very light. It's very light. You know what? I'm gonna compare it with the old one. I'm gonna compare it with the one that I have. See how it tastes, if there's any difference. All right, let's try, oh, I don't wanna get confused. So this one's here and this one's here. So let's try, let's try compare side by side with the regular Hibiki versus the Blossom. About the same, maybe this is lighter. It does look lighter though. I don't know if you see it. But the Hibiki Blossom is noticeably lighter than the regular Hibiki. Maybe because it's the, the Sakura casts, the Cherry Blossom casts are more lighter in color. All right, there you go. Let's try the nose. This one is less floral. This one has more fruit forward, less floral. It, it, not floral at all, if I could even say that. Kind of like pears, you can smell the pears, like fruit, light fruits and sugars. All right. Oh yeah, this one is, this one is much floral. Like you could smell the flower coming out of here, jumping out of, to my nose. This one, if I compare side by side, this one is sweet too, but it's not floral. This one is floral. Like literally flower it in the cup. Oh. Let's try it. Cheers. Okay. As expected. More darker sugars on this one. Very smooth too. That was still wow. Jeez. Very easy drinking. No kick to it at all. Um, very light, easy drinking whiskey. With berries. Pears, maybe a hint of like spice and sugars, but more dark, like brown sugar ish coming out. I can't detect the floral notes that are in that one. I think the sweetness is about the same, but I'll try this one now. Mm. This one is more, it has a different mouthfeel. This one is more fluidic. Um, more gentler on its delivery of its sugars. This one's more like brown sugar, more thicker sugar, but this one's very light sugar. Coming in with floral notes, like blossomy floral notes, like you're in the middle of a, like a spring blossom. That flower just going, you know, overwhelming your senses gently. And a little bit of honey too, very light honey. They're very similar though, I gotta say. Very similar, but this one has one more layer to this. Like the, the, the light oak finish, light oak foundation is same, if I could say that. 
There's fruity notes in both of them. And they're both very easy to drink, but I feel like this is slightly more darker fruits in here. This is, everything is light and gentle and fluffy. The floral notes in here are very prominent. Again, when you taste it, the floral notes hit you. And then it's, it stays with you the whole time, the whole journey, it's with you until the very end. Even when the oak finish subsides, the, the floral note stays with you. And it's the last one to say bye. Whereas this one, there is none of that. It's very fruit, easy, sugary, very balanced still. Anyways, whew, that's all I have for you today, guys. Oh, this was fun. This was a fun one. Was, this one was the experience. If you get a chance, uh, the, the Hibiki Harmony 2022, the Blossom Edition, <laughs> you could get it for under 200 bucks. You gotta try it. It's, it's different than the usual bourbons or single malts, even more unique than the regular Hibiki. So, but it's not worth $800. Don't do that. Uh, the sushi, delicious as always. Uh, sugar fish, if you, if you are in you know California area, it's always good. For 30, 40 bucks, you get a decent meal for you know very good fresh sushi meal. And uh, it's never disappointing. So together, I thought it was really good. The fish and the whiskey goes very well together. I don't know if you got tried it. Um, that it, it sort of, it changes the, the texture of the fish a little bit. It gets rid of that, that fishy smell. Um, which is a lot of times is unpleasant, but with whiskey, it sort of negates it, and I, that's, I think that's a really good combination. So, all right, um, there you have it, guys. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Uh, if you get a chance, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree with this, and or if you have tasted it. Let me know what your thoughts are. So, appreciate it. Thanks so much. Have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.